So here's the deal. If any country wants to really break free of these people, um, obviously TikTok's owned by them and uh, there's stories of and some of the most valued people in China and then look at who Mao is, very deformed looking person. You take a deformity like that and you um, can write it off to where they're God's cursed people. Um, so, you know, they got conquered and then Russia openly had their boss of like slaughter. Um, although Russia, like their media is like playing like the game they're playing the game, you know, without, you know, I'm telling you how it is, and they're playing the game, like, people have told me how it is, so, playing, so, it's hard to differentiate whether they're actually working with them, or they're saying they're working with them, and they're just making sure they chip at them, and they're definitely chipping at them, I can tell you that, although, Zelensky doesn't look like the people he's killing, who, you know, under him that he's killing. And uh, Zelensky definitely shouldn't feel safe being a Nazi if he says Zelensky, ski, ski, ski. There's a, there's a giveaway Berg, ski, Stein, all that. Hiding behind new names nowadays, but yeah. Anyways, um, if we get those people to come liberate USA, uh, that's when the iron will be hot and that's the time to strike them while they're in this country because uh, they're very strong in this country uh, uh, they've been around me my whole life and like it, I noticed like later on I started testing this um, why they're the only people in my entire life and I'm not a racist like they are so I uh, quickly learned in my testing that it's because they're keeping me away from other races. Uh, like they made that. I was actually having this conversation with two people because um, pretty much if I'm like, I was like, wow, I met a person from, I met a black person. Wow. And I was like, I better fucking hurry up and tell them or some shit for this happens. So, well, I met a European person. Better hurry up and tell them this stuff's happening before this happens. And it happened while I was talking about it. Uh, and then one time it happened, at least once it happened, when I wasn't talking about it. So they're little, they, they're an alien demon race. So uh, been stalking humans for a long time with advanced technology. And their mass, they used to, um, the other things on this planet, they used to have uh, other things. Devil gods working with them, uh, but I think those devil gods have abandoned them, so I don't think they have them anymore. Um, the but the magic stuff I, that's quite possible, like like uh, the game in a, in a video game, you have um, different rate, different tribes. You know, you can choose different species with different like little skill sets, and I just think that um, using the devil magic is using magic at all is probably attributed to, um, you know, there's a reason why they're physically weak and they have to use the physically strong to conquer people for them. And they don't get away with just the mind control magic and stuff. But anyways, if we can, uh, you know, we gotta, if we wait until uh, China and Russia comes to liberate USA, Israeli occupied nation probably always has been. You've got to, you've got to um, unravel the the peas from the pod. You know, start getting them all twisted and realize it's not your nation, and it never was. It's always been a nation of deformed-looking individuals like Chris Columbus, uh, looking for a new homeland because they're getting kicked out of where they are because no one wants them. And it's easy to see who that group is that no one wants and why no one wants them at this point in time. Uh, especially with the stalking and terrorism and all that shit. Um, 
Yeah, that's when the time to strike it. Just go outside, pop, pop, get in your car, start running them over and shit. Once we have another nation coming to liberate us, then it's open season on these fuckers. Um, let's just do the math. Some math here, like how many each of us are owed. Okay, so for me alone, if I go outside some days within an hour or two, ten of them are involved in disrupting my life. Ten. In an hour or two. Okay, and I've been alive for uh, 500,000 hours. Almost. So, ten times five is fifty. And add on an additional, you know, six zeros. Or Who okay, cares? So let's add a whole bunch because you know you got a mul you got to throw in a multiplier there. So fuck it. Anyways, ten times five thousand is obviously fifty thousand. Right? And uh, so that's one person. And uh, I don't know how many other people who aren't them or are tired of them. Maybe, maybe some of us are them and are tired of their games. And, uh, so, 50,000 per person have been uh, disrupting our lives. Let's just round it up. I mean, everyone else goes outside, so it's not until you fucking uh, take off your blinders and you're allowed to see the simple things that they don't allow you to see and talk about that they keep us away from each other so we don't talk about it's very easy to see when them Seinfeld looking motherfuckers come around you and shit and they're like they're alien demons fucking acting like homeless people or, or whatever the restaurant manager I don't know how they ship through the matrix like they do with their damn devil magic but they do it and it's time to put an end to it fucking um uh, so, all of them. Plus, I, you know, if I was like them, I'd say make them be more of their selves, and that way we could make the make it even. But, but I think even it's not about getting even; it's just about getting rid of them. So, yeah, I, I'm not. I, nothing's ever gonna feel even. Okay, looking looking back, once your eyes are open to everything that they've done in your life and how they're around you every time something's going on. Once you are aware of this fact, then um, you're not going to have an even moment. It's, it's always going to be fucking disgust and hatred knowing that they've been there wrecking your life. But they're working hard to make sure that we can't discuss that they're there. They've been working over time, as far as I know, the second they can snatch you up, I mean, as a baby, they do their mutilation upon people in the USA and the Middle East. They do it on uh, females. And so, yeah. Who knows what they're doing where? Um, you know, they're poisoning the water. They're poisoning the foods. They're drugging people through drugging children on top of mutilating them at birth so you know they're doing it in so many ways you can't even freaking imagine and stuff uh, and they're robbing people and, and if and most people aren't trying to go anywhere in life so they have never experienced what it's like to be kept down by another person so those people don't actually probably don't even care Right, if you're just floating through life at McDonald's, you probably have no care. But hey, like, whatever. Anyways, um, what we also have to do is we have to um, test those around us. And we have to say these things to them. Like, when these people come, <laughs> car time, crunch. Say that to people around you and see how they respond. And when they respond very negatively to that, it's time to start questioning their families. 
and everyone around them because you've just found more of them.